right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, as mentioned, my name is uh, Jetro de Vries. Uh, I am a, a maritime engineering student. And uh, tonight I want to give you all uh, a bit of an insight in uh, a project that is currently running. Um, it is a, a project that uh, basically is about a small yacht, uh, which uh, would be designed. Um, and Freepark is playing the client role in it. So they provided us with a set of requirements and uh, we started working with them. And uh, we brought that together uh, in, in our project. Now, uh, before I'm gonna show you any of the pictures of the design as it is now, uh, I want to uh, point out that it is actually an assembly of three different designs, um, which were uh, being done in the individual stage of this project uh, by my two fellow students and myself. All right, so uh, these set of requirements were actually a, a bit of a puzzle because um, the boat design was going to be a, a bit slender, uh, 80 meters of length and a beam of four meters. Um, but still, it, it had to be uh, capable of, of reaching a range of 3,500 nautical miles at a speed of nine knots. Um, next to that, uh, there were other requirements as well. Um, for example, it, uh, uh, demanded enough space for uh, guests and owners, uh, two guests, two owners in a separate bedroom, of course, uh, and a toilet and bathroom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, uh, we mostly uh, use the design spiral uh, in uh, our process. Um, main reason for doing so is that it is actually uh, an, a new item, the, the small craft. Uh, we, we never did that before, so um, it was really good uh, starting at it. And uh, the most logical thing to do is to look at comparative ships, um, which are uh, in this case small crafts. We uh, looked at several different types, for example, uh, planing uh, hulls, uh, also displacement hulls. We even uh, looked at uh, sailing yachts, for example, uh, just to see whether we could use that numerical data uh, to uh, make an estimation, for example, of weight and uh, the installed power, uh, and maybe uh, to say something even about uh, stabilization. Now, uh, a, a lot of uh, information was also put in uh, the design of the hull, um, which is going to be in my next slide. If it is, yeah, there it goes. Um, so, as you can see, uh, and this was a feature seen in all three of the uh, individual uh, designs is that it has a straight bow. And there is, of course, a, a very logical reason doing so. Uh, in this case, because we're dealing with a slender design, we need to have a lot of space. And uh, this is a bit exaggerated, for example. <laughs> but if you're dealing with uh, uh, guests and owners who have to need uh, uh, of accommodation, you need to have a lot of space on board. So. Uh, a longer uh, length of waterline creates uh, more area inside. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, a layout of the main deck. Um, it is uh, a project still running, so it's not yet finished. Uh, there is actually a staircase missing here. So it is uh, pretty difficult for the guests to uh, go to sleep now. Um, <clears throat> but as we go lower into the ship, you can actually see that it is there. We, uh, we just have to draw again. Um, and you can see that there is a separate accommodation for guests and owners, uh, separated by a, a machine room. Um, and you can see that there is a, a small amount of area. So we simply had to lengthen it. Now, another reason for lengthening the waterline is, of course, that it increases the theoretical hull speed. And in this case, it makes it a bit more easier to uh, make that range because uh, theoretical hull speed is about 10 knots, so uh, the, the range speed of, t of 9 knots is uh, lower and uh, it requires uh, less fuel. Now, um, this is a 3D model that we uh, made so far. Uh, as you can see, we tried to create a sportive looking motor yacht. Um, and, uh, well, we, we tried to, uh, for example, create a very nice curves. On, uh, on, on the hull, and on the other side, 
uh, at the stern, you can see that we installed a cockpit, which was also uh, demanded, and um, it is weather protected. Uh, you can see a real uh, height a difference, of course, because uh, between uh, uh, main deck, for example, and the lower deck is about 200, of, uh, 2,200 millimeters. Now, um, I want to talk about a little bit of styling. Um, I'm always a bit fascinated by the golden ratio, which is defi of, uh, defined in nature. Um, and I wanted to see whether that could be fit in in the design. Now, the most important thing I learned was that there are actually a lot of obstacles working against it. Um, this mostly had to do with the fact that apparently people want to be safe on board. So you have to install railings, for example. Now, uh, this all resulted in the fact that uh, we, we had a knife curvature and there is one line that has that ratio. And we tried to make that the center of attention, which is here uh, basically the top of the bulwark uh, at the side of the hull. And you can actually see that the lines of windows are uh, already pointing at that point. Now, uh, this is uh, the, the general arrangement for what it is now. Uh, we, we still want to make uh, a lot of details in it, of course. Um, we're planning that the, the project will, will uh, uh, run till about uh, the end of January. So uh, there is a lot of work uh, still to do. Um, for example, we're currently working on uh, construction, of course, which is a major issue. And we have to make a, a more as, uh, accurate estimation of the weight. Um, but those are simply things that, uh, that makes it uh, still under construction. So uh, if there are any people who are interested in the final result, just uh, let us know and uh, we'll get back to you on that. <laughs>